Our other big story tonight, the battle continues in the effort to clean up after the homeless. Today it entered into VA territory. Yeah, the VA in West L.A. has long been a gathering spot for L.A.'s homelessness. Haley Winslow joining us live from there. Haley? These homeless encampments have become an eyesore all over L.A. We thought that they were cleaning this one up here in Brentwood today, but that was not the case. Pretty frustrating for business owners, including the owner of Pecorino Restaurant, who moved here from Italy 16 years ago to open this restaurant. And this is his front yard. Cleaned up not cleared out. The Brentwood homeless encampment is still here. They are killing my business here. Uh, a lot of my guests are scared to come here because they screaming they have a mental problem. Even though Pecorino Italian restaurant is open, owner and chef Rafael Sabatini has to keep a chain across the front door to keep out the homeless. Otherwise it was open, everybody can get to. Across San Vicente Boulevard, the sidewalk is lined with tents, mostly filled with homeless veterans. These are the new tents they gave us. They're nice. They got doors. Privacy at least. Of course, the flag. Every American flag on a tent represents a verified veteran. This is Ron Estrada's home. He was a Marine shot several times while serving in Iraq. This one just lodged itself in there and then so that's where I get my, my back problem from. Some veterans live on the other side of the fence, inside the VA, but you gotta follow the rules, like no drugs or alcohol. So I'd rather be out here where I could have more freedom than inside and being more like I'm in jail. This is unacceptable. This should not be going on at all. Rob Reynolds, who knows just about everyone on the block, volunteers for a nonprofit that helps American veterans called AMVETS. He says getting them off the sidewalk and into veterans affairs is not a quick fix. Don't just go right in and they get a spot to stay. We got to get them through a registration process and that's going to different buildings and getting referrals. And a lot of times they don't get that done in one day and then they're told to leave the property and then we end up with them out here on the sidewalk. In the meantime, a front loader came by and cleaned up a bit. With the help of city sanitation workers and sheriff's deputies, the homeless vets put whatever they didn't want on the street to be scooped up Tuesday morning. It's normal to clean. It's like a spring cleaning. Brentwood business owners say it's definitely not enough. For me, that doesn't change. <laughs> Public Works warned the homeless two weeks ago that this cleanup was going to happen, but neighbors thought that that meant they were going to clear out this encampment, not just clean it up. Reporting live in Brentwood, I'm Haley Winslow, Fox 11 News. All right, Haley, that's been there a while, that flag row. Thank you much.